All right. Is chili dog, chili dog. Like it. Okay. Oh, wait. You could just. This is my sweater. I love it. Okay. So we talked about all that. Okay. So we were going to talk about um, a bunch of other stuff. Oh, no. I think I was just going to keep going. But realized it was a 45 minute video. So it's going to be nicer about it. So we were going to also talk about Candida. We're going to talk about Candida. Let's do that. Sorry. My foot is sliding. And it sounds like I'm farting. I have fuzzy socks on with a fuzzy soft blanket. I don't stay in place. All right. Um... Was I going to write down? Oh, Candida. So, do we know what Candida is? You know what yeast is? Like Yeast. I'm sure people have heard like a yeast infection. Um, yes, like yeast in bread. It rises. It spreads. So, yeast uh, is an overgrowth of bad bacteria that starts, you know, like in your intestines and it just kind of spreads. Um, I think it's, you know, our stomach's very acidic. It breaks it down and it passes it along to like our small and large intestine. And there it's um, taking it on a molecular level and... Um, I feel like I would take like the, so say it's like 90 to 100 degrees outside and it's just like you're walking, say you're like out, out at a, a place and there's just like you're walking on cement and then you go into like a, you know, like the, um, so say so like a park and you want to go visit like a butterfly exhibit. And so you're outside, it's like 95, 100 degrees, it's like dry and hot, it's like, oh, whatever. And so then you like walk into this like lush ecosystem. That's your uh, small and large in intestine. And uh, so I feel like it's like kind of wandering like mystically through there. And... <sighs> Like, things like sugar and carbs um, trigger, like, because you have the balance of, like, good and bad bacteria. And it gives strength to the bad bacteria. And so they overtake the good bacteria. And then you get an overgrowth of candida, which causes inflammation, can uh, contribute to your food allergies and food sensitivities, Um I swear that one year I was eating so healthy and I, for the that whole year, I didn't have any allergies. I was like, it's allergy season. Why do I feel good? And then I was like, oh, I took care of my body and I felt good. Who knew? I do know. So lush ecosystem and we don't want to disrupt it. So we're going to not binge eat sugar and carbs and carbs are, um, so like your white potatoes, your white rice, your white, um, your breads, your pastas. And so when your body's in that kind of state, when it's overgrown with the candida, it's also really bad to do acidic foods like tomatoes, tomato sauce, spaghettis, all your can, you know, so you really got to um, completely just go super hard on vegetables and a lot of water. And um, yeah, okay, I'm just going to write this down real quick here. Mm. can't read what I'm writing. Wait. 
That would be a phenomenal idea. I'm going to write that down. Oh, wait, I did. Because I have a journal and I have thoughts and it's perfect. All right. Um, so first, you've got to have the science. So you have to test it on yourself. If you can't test it on yourself, you shouldn't sell it to other people. Open, honest, transparency. Super. Cool. All right. Um, so the over acidic system that is already overrun from yeast, yeast causes the inflammation and the more inflammation so it's like your whole butterfly house just got burnt down that's sad right don't do that to your butterflies um so we nourish them with healthy things and i feel like it's going to be something where butterflies eat sugar. And I'm like, shut up. Don't tell me these things. Uh, but our bodies obviously are different. We're human beings. So that means we have to eat things that, I mean, greens and healthy uh, things that, I mean, and some people think tomatoes are healthy. Um, I mean, maybe they are for some people, but technically you do your research on like the, 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 the skins on the nightshades. Um, what is it? Um, excuse me. Is it leptin? No. Oh, this is why I can't, I, I can't even read Google. Um, let me see here. In tin? Oh, I was like, what? Didn't I spell something wrong? Tin. I don't know. All I know is I can't eat tomatoes. And they make my body so acidic. What is in this? Uh, I think it's in nightshades. Okay, let me see here. I don't know the word nightshades. Uh, lectins. I was right. Lectins. So it, it, it can trigger like in your system. Um, do your research. They're called lectins and they are no good for your insides. They're in nightshades. So like tomatoes, eggplants, things like that. So I don't eat that stuff. Also the acidity of tomatoes. Um, I don't do a lot of fruits. I probably could once I healed my body. But because I keep eating sugary junk instead of like good junk, I can't eat the good stuff yet. All right. <clears throat> so, um, ooh, gotta backtrack this one. Hmm. So the system is overrun with the candida and the inflammation, which contributes to uh, all kinds of problems in the body. Uh, joint pain, headaches, tiredness, irritation. Um, I mean, it's like you came into this lush atmosphere and you just burned it to the ground. Like, it's like in pain you know like it's it's overrun with this bad bacteria that's just like wreaking havoc and 
I mean, it's not going to feel good, right? You're not going to feel good. So you're going to have a lot of random symptoms and your body's different than my body. My body's different than yours. However, um, you can have, you know, similar issues. So it's easy to identify what's happening in your system. But if you, you know, were to do a diet or an elimination diet and, and when you bring those things in and you really pay attention to how they make you feel, you can then identify that that's what's causing that issue. So, um, so the candida for me causes when it, I can tell when it's candida and it's really bad because I'll start to get memory problems. Like I cannot think straight. I cannot remember. I'll like walk into the room and be like, uh, what? And then it's just like, man. So that's terrible. When it gets like really, really, really bad, it's like, oh my gosh, like you gotta get it together. Eat a vegetable. Eat vegetables. Uh, lots of water. That's the other downfall. I've been really struggling and I've been learning the importance of water. Like not just a bottle of water. Like I have to get down three bottles of water. I think that's been one of the biggest things um, that I've been trying to work on. And so then in the beginning, I was like, okay, if my spiritual health isn't good, then my physical health isn't going to be good. And I'm like always dehydrated and I'm like living water, relationship with God. And I'm like, okay, so like I understand like I need to work on my relationship with God. So to do that, we are, again, we're, we're bringing up the past traumas so that we can move past all that. Like things happened. It's life. So we need to face them, confront them, tell them they don't take control over our lives anymore, work through the season that that we have to until we're healed from it, and then move forward. I get that we don't need to stay victims, right? It's that mindset too, and that heart posture, and forgiveness. It's very hard for certain things. Yes, I get that. But you don't have to carry that hate. And so I've been working on it. So everyone has been through way worse, way littler, way whatever. It's not a comparison because this world is messed up. And it should be a support system. And it's not. And I'm sorry. So, like, let's, let's do this together. Like, let's work past the things that we need to work past so that we can be like those strong, independent women who, um, and men and people and just Christians in, in like Christ, inevitably like Christ. That's what we want to be. But we are allowed to be strong and independent and in, in independent on other, you know, like people and money and things and whatever, but fully dependent on God. You know, like we need to be fully dependent on him. So he's, we're plugged in. It's like, you know, robot suit, like we're strapped in, like we can go. We're making those moves, but like he's our source. So while we're robot moving it through life, you know, I mean, we have to um, just rely that he's that and we're going to go do what we need to do. Okay. Anyways, so, um, the memory issues, um, really weird headaches. I get eye, like my eyes, like I feel like I can't see right. Oh man, I get like, my vertigo gets really bad. I don't have vertigo. Casting it out in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, so that can cause gastritis, which is like the, there's the mucus lining on the inside of your stomach that protects it from all that acid. And when it's unprotected, like that, that layer is gone. Um, that's when you get your ulcers and your heartburn and your gastritis and gastritis is like inflammation. And so, um, like the, the stomach can normally eat things and digest it and it moves on when it's, um, at the state of gastritis, it, uh, is very inflamed, very painful. Um, you know, you can feel nauseous. Um, you, I mean, it can be, it feels better like sometimes when you eat, um, but I mean, everybody is different. I personally, 
would get uh, just severe heartburn. So then it's at the point of like I'm identifying I can't lay flat. So then I have to prop myself up when I go to sleep. And then I'm propped up and it's hurting my neck. It's like misaligning my ribs. And I'm doing that for eight hours a night, you know, three nights in a row because I can't lay flat because of heartburn, because I tore up my stomach, because I couldn't stop binge eating junk food, because whatever. And now I've got this inflammation and candida and gastritis and constipation and I'm a hot frickin' mess. So I could have just eaten the vegetables and drank the water. But what fun is that, right? Well, we can't have all the fun all the time. You can't drink all day, every day alcohol, right? Like in small moderation. Like he says, you know, drink some wine for your stomach troubles. Have a little glass of wine here and there. He's like, well, you know, life's messed up. Like, it's fine. Have a little wine. Just don't abuse it right? Not a big deal. Just don't idolize it. Don't drink too much of it. Use it to bring glory to God, right? He says in here for my stomach troubles, he's blessed me with this. It's beautiful. It's, it's, you know, whatever you, you drink a, what, six ounces for its benefits. And you just don't overindulge. And, and that's my problem. But I'm working on it. I'm not saying it's my problem anymore. I'm I'm being healed from that. I'm moving on from that. I'm no longer going to be a victim of binge eating or binge eating sugar or not taking care of my body or not drinking enough water. Um, I want to be healthy. And so I am the only one who's going to make that happen. And I need to take the proper steps to do what I need to do. And so that, that also... I notice like when I start feeling better, like when I start feeling better, I'm kind of like, all right, I'm going to change up my music. It's not going to be all Christian music now. Probably stuff I definitely shouldn't be listening to. Um, I'm going to eat some stuff, Meh, whatever. It's fine. I can eat that. My stomach's healed. And I'm going to, you know, drink, you know, a couple shots. And then, yeah, I'm going to have some dairy. I'm going to have some dairy and some corn chips. I'm going to have nachos. And, oh man, it's like, my stomach was like, we aren't finished yet. Like, please, please let me heal. And I'm like, no. So then I start like all over because I didn't stick with it. Because then I, it's like, I, I'm like doing good. And I'm like, really good? And then all of a sudden I'm like, sabotage everything! <laughs> and it's terrible. Oh, so, yeah. Learning to not, not sabotage the me. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, that's what we're going to do. We're learning because God has been healing and is healing from past traumas. So I'm able to, oh, oh, here we go. Uh, because I didn't receive what I needed as a child, I was seeking things out to fill. So it was the clothes. Now I, I, the, the clothes and the stuff and the eating. Those are my comforts. Everything's there for me. The food's there for me, you know. Uh, temporary high, temporary fix. Um, and uh, it smells like dish soap. So I also noticed that when I stretch my neck out, uh, I can smell better. Because, like, probably it was like my nostrils or something aren't confined. No, I don't have COVID. I've been tested so many freaking times. It's been negative every single time. And I don't feel like I have the flu. So and I'm pretty sure I had it in February. Because I it was all upper respiratory. Anyways. Um. Ah. Oh, 
Okay. So, um, the candida and the side effects and, and what it does. So again, the bad bacteria is, is consumed. So it's causing all of these problems on the inside of you. And it's just wreaking havoc every second of every moment all day until you start to put the brakes on. And then you back it up and you get back to eating healthy. You have to start somewhere. It's just like, are you going to start here or are you going to let it keep going? Oh, man. Wow. I just I don't want to sit like this. I don't want to sit comfortable. This chair is not designed with this back piece to sit comfortably. Anyways, um, but this is the best chair ever. Like, God blessed me with this chair. Straight up. It is super comfortable, though. Um, just not with like four blankets while I'm trying to fold up into a ball. My knees hurt. Um, that was so terrible. I'm sorry. Um, all right. So with that being said, uh, you have to put the brakes on. You have to start somewhere, as with anything in life. Like, to reverse a bad habit, to stop something, like we have to start somewhere. It's just a matter of when we're going to start and um, are we going to stick with it. Um, so that's for that drive and motivation. Um, we're really trusting that he's probably going to, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, is it a matter of me not trusting that he's going to, like, um, help me because like I, I uh, the starting process but I guess that's the whole point of faith the size of a mustard seed right and you can tell that mountain to move and it'll move so it is a journey because I do feel like I am trusting God with helping me to get better and and whatnot and we're going through all these things and we're working through and um I see that, and I, I feel that, and I experience that. Uh, where was I going with that? But it is, I don't know, it is a struggle. Um, and it takes effort, and it takes, you know, hard work and effort, and it doesn't happen overnight. And I think uh, that's that's our problem. Now, with society, um, everything is instant. And... I think that's that's one of my favorite quotes is nothing worth it is ever easy. Well, if we could all be in shape in a week, like we'd all be in shape, right? <laughs> if there wasn't pain from the infamous leg day, uh, we would all have powerhouse legs again like we used to in high school. Just saying. You know? It is what it is. Anyways, so it's on me, right? I gotta start making some effort. And I'm trusting him to meet me halfway to help me. Um, and yeah. I, I don't know. So God, God has revealed a lot to me um, the past couple days and tonight. Tonight's been great. Tonight has been great. So I am in the process of um, de-stressing, decompressing, de-anxietying, de-everything. Like, my body has been so jacked up from this candida overgrowth that my anxiety skyrocketed. And I... Finally, like, I will tell you, I do not take pills. I don't even take Motrin. I'm like, I got turmeric. It'll be fine. Turmeric, turmeric. I don't care. Whatever. It is what it is. I will always treat it naturally or just not treat it, like, pain-wise, you know? Um, so for like other things like stomach and, um, 
UTIs and candida, like I've got a remedy for it and it works. Um, so I just stick with that. And I don't take pills, but my anxiety has been so bad and my anxiety is bad. My anxiety is bad because of my health. And so if I would get my health together and heal my stomach and heal my butterfly garden, um, I wouldn't have to be on anxiety medication. Me. I don't know about anybody else's stories or problems. All I know is I have been doing my research and testing the theories and I know personally that my stomach is in my, because it's the, the, you know, the gut brain connection that that's what it's tied to. And so if I allow this to heal, this gets to heal. Oh, the healing process is so hard though, but it's not impossible. And it's not impossible with an unlimited God that I, for some reason, don't put all of my faith and trust and hope and confidence in. So then I just suffer because I'd rather just figure it out on my own. I got my own strength. I'm, he's not going to help me. Whatever attitude stuff. So Lord, help me with my unbelief. Help me And for me, it's getting out of my head. This journaling, these thought processes. I mean, I spend so much of my time just being irritated that I can't eat. So I binge eat to the point where I can't breathe because I'm so frustrated with the fact that when I try to eat, I can't breathe and everything's jacked up and I'm irritated. Were? Go in the other room, sit down, and start journaling. You know, I started off uh, deleting and unsubscribing. So I started unsubscribing to all of the... Um... Oh, I has a message. I don't want to click on it because I don't want to exit out of this video. Um... Uh... Oh, I started, uh, I started unsubscribing to, you know, because my issue is like, cause I will impulsively, I guess, or binge shop or binge buy. And, um, so eliminating that out of my life is unsubscribing to those every other second, $5 off, 20% off, click to reveal, blah, 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 like all the temptation, like you got to remove the temptation, right? So just don't buy the Oreos, but if I have the Oreos and I know they're in the cupboard, then I'm not going to buy more Oreos because they're there. And I'm probably going to give in once in a while. i just got to eat them so that they're gone. Oh, I was like, I keep getting messages. Hi, everybody. Um, journaling, getting out of my head. Uh, yes, really just... Whew, today was bad. I took, so it put me at, oh, okay, so, <clears throat> which also concerns me with what I'm taking if it's contributing to the um, candida, because, you know, prescription pills can do that. So they put me on something called Uspar? Par? Par? Um, I don't know what it is. Something for anxiety that's not addictive. And not habit forming, which is perfect because that's what I want. Because I don't want to take things, let alone take things for too long. But I did take, um, took a GABA. GABA. GABA calm. Lozenge. Or it's a capsule. No, it's a tablet. I don't know if it's a tablet or a chewable. I chew it. <laughs> it is what it is. I can't swallow the big capsules so I chew things so put them in the 
water. Um, oh boy. So they put me on that and I took, uh, it's like five milligrams. Oh, I, I took one. Yeah, I took one today, this morning. Didn't take one yesterday. Took one the day before and the day before that. I didn't take it yesterday because I don't like to mix that stuff with uh, supplements. And I, I really was trying to get my stomach under control. So I was taking um, something for my gut bacteria and ecosystem. I don't know. Anyways, um... So, I don't know, I, I took one today, just the half again, half again, and I got dry mouth. I was like, what did I just eat? I was, because I ate this gross, gluten-free Kit, Kit Kat version. In my mouth, I was like, what is happening? Oh, it was like an oily aftertaste. And so, like, earlier, oh, I just think it straight up, like, gave me dry mouth. That pill, though, I don't know. It just, like, came out of nowhere. And it was like, oh, shoot, not this again. Yeah, because see my... It is. I get it. It's like hot mouth. You're like, oh, it's terrible. I don't like that. I don't take pills. Like, side effects and stuff. Like, I don't I don't want to deal with them. Uh, ugh. So, I treat everything naturally. Anyways. Uh, so, it wore off after, like, five, four, probably, like, three or four hours. And I was down around the mall, I had to do some returns, driving all around, people are, oh my good lord, my, ang I could feel the anxiety in my cheeks, and I was like, <sighs> Christian music, <laughs> like, Jesus, <laughs> like, help me, oh my gosh, it was like, and I was like, I gotta, I was like, we're almost, we're almost like, nope, nope, we gotta stop, we gotta get gift bags for this chaotic Christmas, oh my gosh, this has been the worst. I'm so broke. I've been broke. I, I, had to, I, I, I got like snacks for people. Sorry. <sighs> um, yeah. So it was so stressful. And then I got home and I was like, I just can't. I can't people tonight. I can't anything. Just sit. I like clean out the sink and I two cups of Epsom salts is hot water better be scolding and like two drops of lavender oil and I was like sitting in there and I was like it's not hot enough and I was like oh man so you gotta drain it a little bit you know run the hot water so I'm in like my kitchen sink propped up on the counter soaking my feet with Epsom salts and lavender. And I'm like Googling music for anxiety. And so then sometimes on YouTube, you get to pull it down. And then when you jump out of it, it pops into a little box. And you can still listen away while you're Googling. And it, this anxiety music would not do that. And it was like getting irritated. And I was like, this isn't helping. So then um, I started... Uh, Oh, goodness. I gave up, and I think I got, like, I think I just started Googling. Yeah. Um, you know, I just stumble on one thing after the next thing. My mom started texting me, and we started talking about all kinds of stuff, whatever, and I was like, screw this. So I, like, ate this whole bag of these little, like, hollowed out cauliflower chip things, they still are a potato and brown rice starch, so it's still, you know, like, still high carb, um, and starchy. 
And then I got frustrated and ate like six of the little mini pieces of the white chocolate Kit Kats because I bought them like an idiot because I'm like, I can't eat. I'm choking on everything. You're going to force these Kit Kats down and you're going to do that. And then I'm like panicking because like the internal me is like, it's going to make me eat and I can't because I choke on everything because I'm dealing with some things. And then all of a sudden like hand and then I'm just like, okay, can't eat it. Like I'm choking. Like I can't get it down. You know, it's like right at the, the, it's like that muscle right in there. And it's like, I don't want to. And I'm like, please. And it's like, no. And I'm like, oh gosh, <sighs> it's just terrible. And so I ate some of those after the whole bag of chips and then I ate, oh, like three tablespoons of, I was like, well, we've already binged eaten this far. You might as well eat something healthy. So I actually went the chips and then the broccoli cauliflower spinach mix. And then the Kit Kats. That was the last, like, final, like, um, I, I'm just a jerk to myself and like I'm like I'm I'm full like I think we did enough damage like I'm pretty content like just stop thinking about the Kit Kats in the other room and then all of a sudden it's like that internal impulsiveness is like uh uh yeah no uh they sound great and we're gonna go get them and I'm like um but I'm cold and this is great right here and then it's like yeah Go angrily binge eat them right now. And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I gotta, I gotta pee anyways, so I guess I could get up. But I'm getting better because I'm not eating at all. So I was like curious and I was like, how many actual Kit Kat pieces would this be if it wasn't mini pieces? And I was like, all right, and taking into consideration, I ate probably like, you know, regular two size, two, two and a half. Uh, so technically this the rest of this here is like a full four piece, just regular Kit Kat. And I'm like, oh, there's a little, okay. Uh, and then I'm like scooping it, like throw it away, throw it away. Oh, terrible. But at least I'm getting better about it. Um, but I I think I went... Nope, I don't think I've gone a day without eating some sort of sugary and chocolate and junk. I have been getting better at incorporating vegetables and water, though. We're getting better with that. So I can't be too bad at myself because, like, I'm balancing it. So it's not just all carbs and sugar. It's, um, you know, vegetables and water. So, like, I can't, um, can't be, like, too mad at myself, which is great. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so a lot of weird symptoms and side effects with the candida, and I've been able to identify it when things get to the, uh, really bad anxiety and panic attacks, like, constantly, um, and the, oh, my kidneys, uh, they just start, like, releasing ridiculous amounts of adrenaline. And I feel like I'm dying. And my heart, my blood pressure, and my blood pressure gets high. So, like, my blood pressure runs at, like, 84. And so, like, when it's, like, 107, I'm like, okay, get together. Oh, thankfully, like, I've been testing my blood sugar with the, the Relyon, which is actually very unreliable. It, uh, I have to test it, like, four times to get, like, twice the same, and sometimes you, I don't even know. So, I'm like, just give me a number. Like, I just need to know, like, can we just get two on one? Just two. Just give me the same number twice. It's fine. Uh, and it hasn't been high. It's been, like, after, or, like, in the middle of eating, it was, like, one... Oh, 07 and normally it's 80 84 which is like where my blood pressure sits um yeah I already confessed that it hasn't been one day since I've been eating chocolate yeah 
Um, but we're eating more vegetables, so we're proud of myself there. And the water we've been trying to do. Yeah, so really just trying to make that effort. And you can't be too hard on yourself. You gotta start slowly turning around, right? You don't just disappear out of the situation. You just turn that train around. Um, yeah. It's progress. It's a journey, right? It takes time. Can't be too hard on yourself all the time. Oh yeah, retraining my breathing. I think I talked about that earlier because like I, I have a breathing through my nose. And that contributes to my anxiety stuff when it gets bad and then the neck muscles and blah 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 so yeah um i don't know i think i'm finally running out of juice like i'm not sure what else to talk about probably a good thing this is another 40 minute video i tried to watch a half hour video um testimony which was phenomenal i was struggling to sit through it so super sorry that these are long uh cool love you guys um I don't talk to you uh have a have a merry christmas and happy new year and um yeah cool all right love you bye oh god bless you for real though he loves you let him in